in terms of the the balance between your short short term goals and long term strategic goals, like how do you handle that? Because um, I can imagine yeah. in a CRO role, um, there's a lot of uh, revenue pressure. You know, like at the end of the day, you need to uh, to bring in the money, um, but at the same time, you're tr trying to be strategic, yeah. build something long term, and um, uh, you know, build a a solid base for the company to to flourish um, on in the future. So, how how do you balance um, uh, how do you balance um, those two of competing priorities? Yeah, they are competing priorities, aren't they? Um, on, on the one hand, you you want to build a culture that you know everybody you're inclusive. It, it, we mentioned about the, the four values before, uh, but at the end of the day, the, the last value is results. So th there is accountability. So uh, uh, along with under having a, a deep understanding of the economic situations, what happens, um, you need to set some fundamentals. From a sales perspective, th there, are, there are some fundamentals that you instill in everybody in having accountability for your number, having the ability to create your own pipeline, and work as a team with all the other functions, marketing, inside sales, product, to help generate the, the awareness, the leads, the, the, the demand, et cetera. So it's a team effort. Even though as a sales rep, you're accountable for your individual number, the truth is it's actually a team effort. So having that, that dynamic helps balance the, the short and long equally. You know, I've been in organizations where it's like, it's like a whip. You know, here is your monthly target. You've paid your monthly commission. If you don't meet this month on month, the pressure, I'm going to scream louder. That, that, that just doesn't work. That, that's a, a very short, you know, churn and burn mentality. It just doesn't work. Right? You have to think long term. You have to think strategic and understand that people go through cycles. Great, yeah, top performers will perform consistently, but even top performers will have a poor quarter. It happens. The, 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 the real secret is having that deep understanding of your team and help to coach them through the troughs and the peaks. Understand what you're doing well and keep replicating that. And when you're not doing well, understand why you're not doing well, what happened, and correct. So having that culture and knowing that the management knows and trusts that the team will will perform to that schedule helps to overcome that that churn and burn mentality of whipping the team into shape because I can shout louder. Yeah, yeah, and um, I guess that's uh, you know from a, from a team management point of view, I guess that's that's easy to communicate. But um, from your from your senior management peers, like how how do you manage that? Is has has uh, has everybody? bought into that um, mm. mentality early on or did you did you have to do some convincing along the way no 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 it's um that, that, that's one of the great things that i walked into to job at i've been here three months now but that culture was already there so the the, the one thing that i like to do is have transparency on numbers and i make that transparent not only to the leadership team but to the sales teams as well we have uh, a a, and, and our internal intranet on Confluence, for example, where I publish on a weekly basis. Here are the results. Here's by team, here's by individual attainment, et cetera. So it is, there's no secrets. And I think that's one of the keys that is a, a bit of a breath of fresh air here where it's not a secret to hide the numbers. It, you know, it, and if people aren't doing well, it's not a, a meant to be a point the finger you're not doing well. It's just, hey, I'm seeing trends. I'm seeing what others are doing. Okay, I feel good. I feel better about what I'm doing. And having that transparency uh, and that cultural uh, acceptance of that is, is really, really good here. And, and it helps people to perform in, in a consistent manner.